Servus, hello there, Andrew here from The Shieldery and as some of you may know, I once walked 3500 kilometers by foot in medieval clothing. And what I regret most in retrospect is not having a proper medieval willow backpack. And that's what we're gonna build today. Here we go. <laughs> Originally I wanted to use birch wood for the bottom part, but my board was too small, so I went with ash. Because it's only 16 mm thick though, I decided to enforce the sides. I want the backpack to get bigger towards the top and that's why I drilled the holes in a specific angle just by making the surface uneven. For the large corner pieces I choose a radius of 26 mm. Before we can start with the weaving now, we have to find some round wood pieces for which I will use those uh, hazelnut sticks I have lying around for like 5 years, so I guess they are probably dried now. I first cleaned off the hazelnut sticks with an edge grinder and then cleaned up the bottom with my orbital sander. In order to get the ends in the correct diameter, I decided not to use electric machinery, but simply to carve it by hand with a normal knife. And I liked the look so much, I decided to give it to the whole length. It just screams, I'm authentic, I'm handmade, medieval. I made two small changes. The first one is that I won't use the enlargements I made for here, cause just from working with it I can feel that we don't need it because it's just so strong. Ashwood is crazy. Um, the second one is originally I wanted like to drill a small hole through here and then put a piece of wood through it uh, because then it definitely could not fell, fall out. But I would have to drill the hole in the correct angle and so on and I think just the authentic cheese glue should do it and if they're all woven together they shouldn't move, e move either way. After cleaning up some of the mess I made with the glue it's finally time to start wrapping. For that we'll need a water thingy like that to keep the rods wet and a bodkin for which I will just use this random large screwdriver and a wrapping iron in order to compress the rods because otherwise it could become loose after drying. You were probably wondering what I had in this large tube the whole time and that's where I soaked the tribes uh, and I pressed them down with this random stone I found. It smells a bit strange. Oh, ah. Is this normal? Maybe write in the comments. Uh, by the way when you're at the comments, uh, maybe try, share, like and subscribe because that helps out a lot. And if you want to support this channel even more, you can give a donation via PayPal or become a Patreon. Uh, thanks to my only Patreon walklet so far, by the way. Oh, let's keep moving. The water coming out is a bit brown. It smells so strange, I decided to refill it with water to wash it a bit off. Fuck, I got something on my trouser. The rods I used are called brown willow and are 120 centimeters large. I soaked them for 12 or 14 days and uh, let's see. The rods I don't work with at the moment should stay wet though. So I filled it up and now I will lean it to the side so that I can easier access the rods. You're probably wondering why I drilled two holes next to each other instead of only one. That's because I don't have willow sticks and only those thin rods. I think they would be too thin for the vertical part and that's why I decided to use two next to each other. Uh, let's assemble that. The holes are too small. Let me just enlarge them. Then I hope we can finally start. Drags on. Seems like six and a half centimeters are correct. The bottom is not properly cut. Let's just do that. Guys, I'm so fucking hyped right now. You know, in every project you go through different states of mind. Like at the beginning, yes, I'm doing something new. Then, oh dang, that's more difficult than I imagined. When will it be over? And shortly before the end, you'll be like, yes, awesome. It works as I want it. And I'm at that state, stage right now. 
before we continue at the top part we have to finish the bottom let me show you first how I just put a rod in front of his first neighbor and then behind the next one and continued all through As you maybe saw in the time lapse, I added a third rod to the vertical sticks. Let me just show you how to do that. Let's cut it twice. And then push it in with a lot of force. And there you go. Let's continue. I just let it dry overnight and although it still feels a bit wet, I think we can start to attach the bar we need for the upper part of the shoulder straps. For that I split off a small part of a birch board that I still had lying around and then cleaned off the edges because I want to obtain the beautiful handmade look. For the shoulder straps I want to use this jute ribbon. We'll just put it through those holes in between. Go from there, down here around that strange part here. Let me just nail it down really quick with an additional piece of leather. After securing the end we have to adjust the shoulder straps. And that's quite easy actually. Just go under the bar and then in between. And now in theory it can't get loose but sometimes it will that's why we go around one more time and stuff it under itself and we are at the white side here then we make sure we can tighten it up and you see yeah <laughs> it won't move a, mi a millimeter now it's finally finished and I think it just looks awesome. I want to put it to test right away. But first I have to tell you that like in seven days I have to finish it with a linseed oil varnish because that can double its lifetime. I have read. I just walked 
approximately two kilometers now and although that's not that far the backpack performed pretty good if you liked this video and found it is lit check out my last one about medieval tinder and fire making dang it's so beautiful here i kind of want to make bushcraft now in another video maybe so stay tuned and i'm gonna go now <laughs>